top 10 famous people who killed someone and got a slap on the wrist. Sometimes, it seems like the rich and famous can get away with anything. It almost seems like, if someone is rich enough, they can kill someone, get convicted, and only have to pay a fine. 10 Matthew Broderick $175 Fine In 1987, at the height of Ferris Bueller fever, Matthew Broderick was driving down the streets of Northern Ireland on the wrong side of the road. Broderick was speeding into oncoming traffic when he smashed his car head-on into another vehicle, killing the people inside, 63-year-old Margaret Doherty and her 28-year-old daughter, Anna Gallagher. 9 Rebecca Gayhart $2,800 fine and 750 hours of community service. You might remember Rebecca Gayhart from her role on Beverly Hills, 90,210 is Luke Perry's love interest. Or, if you weren't a 90,210 fan, you might remember her from her other big moment running over and killing a 9-year-old child in Los Angeles on June 13, 2001. 8 Marvin Gaye Senior Probation you probably already know that Marvin Gaye met his end in Los Angeles at age 44 when his father shot him three times in the chest after a spat on April 1, 1984. You might not realize what happened next, though because Marvin Gaye Sr. didn't spend a day in jail. 7 Ted Kennedy Probation Senator Ted Kennedy, the youngest brother of JFK, drowned a 28-year-old woman in 1969. He'd taken her on a drive down Chappaquiddick Island drove his car off a bridge, and left his passenger, Mary Jo Kopechny, to die in the waters below. 6 Dante Stallworth 24 days in jail NFL wide receiver Dante Stallworth once got drunk and ran over a man with his car in Miami. In March 2009, he had gone to a friend's party and had been up until 5.30 a.m. drinking. After a short nap, he got in his car, drunk out of his mind, and ran someone over. 5. William S. Burroughs Probation While in Mexico in 1951, author William S. Burroughs killed his 28-year-old wife, Joan. The two were at a party, drinking heavily, when Burroughs announced, It's time for our William Tell Act. His giggling wife put a shot glass on her head, and Burroughs told the crowd to gather and watch. He was going to shoot the glass off her head. 4. Adlai Stevenson No Charges Adlai Stevenson was very nearly the President of the United States. He was the Democratic candidate in 1952 and 1956, though he lost to Dwight Eisenhower both times. And, when he was 12 years old, he shot and killed a 15-year-old girl. 3. Laura Bush No Charges First Lady Laura Bush accidentally killed one of her friends in Midland, Texas, when she was 17 years old. In 1963, she was driving to a movie theater and, apparently, was in a hurry. She was driving well over the speed limit, went through a stop sign, and plowed right into a classmate's car. 2. Brandy $600,000 Settlement In December 2006, pop singer Brandy caused a massive pileup on a Los Angeles freeway and ended someone's life. The car in front of her stopped, and Brandy, apparently not paying attention, didn't hit the brake. She smashed into the car from behind and sent it into the car in front of it. 1. Vince Neal $2.6 million fine On December 8, 1984, Vince Neal, the lead singer of Motley Crue, was driving to the liquor store with his friend Nicholas Russell Dingley, the drummer of Hanoi Rocks, in the passenger seat. Neal was already drunk and smashed into another car, killing Dingle Y and leaving the people in the other car with severe brain damage.